Hey everyone, I'm Harvest Build Destroy, and in this video I want to talk about the Indian Villager bonus in Age of Empires 2, and how ridiculously good it is. In order to explain what I mean, I'm going to have to do some math. The numbers I'll be using come from Spirit of the Law's videos on Wheelbarrow and Handcart, linked below in the description. According to his tests, farmers gather around 19.7 food per minute without Wheelbarrow, 21.9 food per minute with Wheelbarrow, and 23.9 food per minute with handcart. A normal villager costs 50 food and takes 25 seconds to build, so constant villager production costs 120 food per minute. If we divide that by the rates that farmers gather food with each upgrade level, we get the number of farmers needed to sustain villager production at each level. 6.09 without wheelbarrow, 5.48 with wheelbarrow, and 5.02 with handcart. Remember that you have to round up, so that's 7 villagers without wheelbarrow, and 6 with. Given that you will always have at least 2 town centers by the time you research handcart, we can round 5.02 down to 5 in that case. These are pretty significant numbers. For instance, without wheelbarrow, you would need 13 farmers to sustain villager production from 2 town centers. By the time you have handcart, you can sustain 3 town centers with only 15 farmers. These increases stack with the Indians' reduced villager cost. Really, really well. Indian villagers cost 45 food in the Dark Age, 43 food in the Feudal Age, 40 food in the Castle Age, and 38 food in the Imperial Age. If we do the math, this means instead of 120 food per minute, Indian villagers require 108, 103, 96, and 91 food per minute as you advance through the ages. When we crunch the numbers with wheelbarrow and handcart, this is what we get. In the Dark Age, it requires 5.48 farmers to sustain villager production, which is the same as a normal sieve with wheelbarrow. In the Feudal Age, it's 5.23 without wheelbarrow and 4.7 with. That's already better than a normal sieve with handcart. In the Castle Age, it's 4.87 without wheelbarrow, 4.38 with wheelbarrow, and 4.01 with handcart. Finally, in the Imperial Age, it's 4.62, 4.16, and 3.81 respectively. That's right, a post-imperial Indians player can sustain villager production with less than four farms per town center. However, I think the Castle Age numbers are the ones that matter. If a player pulls their villagers off of gold after clicking up, they already have the economy to support a 3TC boom as soon as they hit the Castle Age using a normal fast castle build. Think about it. A normal fast castle build involves clicking up to feudal at 26 or 27 villagers, and typically building two more in the feudal age before clicking up again. With 20 or 28 villagers, that's more than enough to have 3 TCs and 15 farms up right after you hit castle if you pull your gold villagers. Particularly on a map like Arena, you can move into 4 or 5 town centers and support constant villager production before your opponent has much of a chance to punish you for playing so greedily. On a more traditional land map, you could click up with a stable and a market instead of a stable and blacksmith, and sell resources for gold if you need to panic build camels, or even go light cavalry against archers. I mean, your economy is already set up for it. I have no idea if this is viable, but light cavalry play in the Castle Age always makes me happy, so I hope it is. Sounds alright on paper anyway. I should note that I'm not trying to suggest that the Indians are necessarily overpowered per se. I think the balance of the game is still very much up in the air, since most of the top players only switched over to playing the new civilizations in the past couple of months, but hopefully I've at least given you some food for thought regarding how to think about using the new civs bonuses creatively. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider rating, commenting, and subscribing. I've got lots more videos on the way. See you soon.